a slightly off topic video here but I thought I'd do it anyway um, after 10 years of faultless motoring in this Ford Fiesta we've got the engine management light stuck on um, it came on on the motorway one day didn't seem to affect the way it drove but it, it's on and it won't go off so um, I bought one of those very cheap ELM327 readers from eBay six pounds so uh, let's just see what's just basically see what the lights all about um, rather than take it to a garage I thought may as well find out myself it has one of these um, ODB2 connectors on it it's a Bluetooth unit so we can use the the laptop the advent laptop to see what it is so I thought do a little video plug it in see how easy it is to use might be a load of crap probably is but anyway thought to give it a go unbelievably though these are six pounds on ebay five pound 95 on ebay so i thought it's well worth getting one see what the problem is before i take it to the mechanic that way you can find out whether you ripped me off so uh, just as a i'm really curious as to how they can make this for six pounds i'm going to take it apart and see what's inside it so let's have a little go now ta-da we're in and um, obviously comes apart quite easily they haven't put much effort into securing things down and as you wouldn't for that kind of price um, first things first we've got a I've actually had a little sneak preview of this PTB I've already found out we've got a microchip microchip chip pick microcontroller it's a pick 18 um, I'll get to that in a minute we've also got a microchip CAN bus controller interface um, it's the MCP2551 which I've already looked up um, then we also have a, a crystal oscillator. That actually really surprises me that they've used the crystal oscillator because that costs money, obviously. Uh, inside this chip there's already an oscillator which they could have used. I don't know why they need such precision to use a crystal. Maybe they do, or maybe they just, I don't know, find it easier to use that. It's, it's only a, a crappy four megahertz crystal as well. It's not like it's particularly unusual frequency. There's definitely a four, there'll definitely be a four megahertz uh, internal oscillator mode in that PIC-18, I can guarantee that. Um, on the back we have a Bluetooth module with an aerial, integrated aerial. Uh, that's actually hand soldered into place. If you look really carefully, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but there's only like four pads that are that don't have the silk screen on it that are able to be soldered on. And so that'll be two pads for the power and two pads for the UART interface. Uh, that's probably the easiest. I mean, you, you just wouldn't even think about developing your own Bluetooth system when you can buy these modules for like a dollar at the most. And then we just have some of the little bits of like power supply and the little components that resist and things like that uh, that you don't really have to worry about. But what really did interest me though is the fact that they have used this uh, microchip pick because they're not the cheapest microcontrollers. I've actually looked it up, uh, the volume pricing is like almost £1.50. The volume pricing on the CAN chip is like 40p at best. If you go for a quote with them, I'm sure it won't be less than 40p. Uh, and obviously, the module is about a dollar, like I said. So the whole thing, including the circuit board, which just cost about 30p, and the other little components, the uh, peripheral components, that is like, well, it's at least, it's over two pounds, almost three pounds of electronics. Then you've got to add in the ODB2 connector. You've got to pay someone to hand solder all those wires onto it and, and fit the plug. Then you've got to pay for the enclosure. I don't know. I can't see that being like, made for less than... Well, less than three pounds at, at, the, at the minimum. I'd say even maybe four pounds that was costing. And you've got this ship from China to someone in the UK who's making a profit selling them for six pounds on eBay. And given that eBay will take 60p and PayPal will take about 40p and the postal post will take, you know, if it's if it's less than 25 mil, you might get away with sending it like through a, as a large letter, which would be like still about a pound. So just unbelievably cheap considering what's inside it. But uh, Anyway, uh, this is probably a nice interesting little look, but we're really interested in how easy it is to use, which is what the rest of the video is about. First things first, we need to find the ODB2 socket. Oh, really easy on this thing. It's pretty obvious it's going to be behind that tiny little cover. Which, uh, let's see, yeah, it is. Um, first thing we find out now is how easy this connector plugs in. Oh, it's really nicely. So that's that bit sorted. This isn't the way to get a screenshot on a, on a PC when you're filming, but I thought I'd do it anyway. This is a this is a typical eBay ad for one of these things. Bit of a rip off this one. This one is six pound fifty nine p, a whole sixty p more expensive than the one I bought. Basically, they're all the same thing. I think they've all got the same chipset in there. Uh, it does come with this disc, 
to with the software on it you can also there's also apps for your 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 iphone and your android phone like i've got but i'm going to see what it's like on the pc as the pc's got bluetooth and also i like pcs better than pissing around with crappy little mobile phones so i'm going to try and install this software and see how easy it was well there's the first problem with crappy windows 8.1 i can't find my computer so how do i load the disc jesus what's wrong with good old xp God, fucking... anyway rant over I'm sure this would take about two minutes with Windows XP, but as we're using like this child's toy, Windows 8.1, then it's a bit more fiddly. But anyway, you need to connect to uh, the ODB2 thingy. It does appear as ODB2 there, see. I've just uh, turned the ignition on on the car, so hopefully within a couple of seconds that will connect. Are you going to do it? Is it going to do it? Hmm. I have to wait until it does. What you really need to know, though, is... You need to know what COM port it is for the software. So in Windows 8, you have to go down here. Uh, you have to go and find the control panel. There we go, the control panel will pop up now, hopefully. Oh, go away. What? God knows what that's doing. Anyway, there's the control panel. Um, and then you need to go into device manager. There we go. And then if you look there, we can see the uh, ports, COM port and L, well, COM port and parallel port. And we can see like our Bluetooth link is COM3 and COM4. So we need that for the software. The next thing you need to do is install the software that comes on the disc. Uh, the one you need is the scan tool. And then we can specify, <coughs> excuse me, we can specify that we need to use metric first off and we'll use COM3. I'll just leave everything else as default and hopefully it'll be right. Resetting hardware interface. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Hmm. Let's see what... I don't think it's working. Let's try something else. Right, let's try this again. Got rid of that stupid child's toy that is... Windows 8 and I'm back to XP which is which I used to think was a child's toy but it's not compared to that Windows 8. Right, um so I'll try again, I'll install this the Bluetooth go to control panel. I know what to do on an XP machine, really easy. Bluetooth devices, you know this searching through huge big long men menus. Uh Bluetooth devices, first off, I like having the it down there it by the, the clock, the icon. So I'm gonna click that, show the Bluetooth icon in notification area. Anyway, that's just small. Um, turn the discovery on. No, we don't need that for the moment. I'm going to add a device. Oh, such a pleasure it is in Windows XP. Um, it's going to ask for a passcode in a minute, which I've been informed is 1234 for this device. So, come on. Mm, hope it starts working a bit faster than this. Oh, there we go. ODB2 device. Next. Uh, use the pass key. One, two, three, four. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's looking good. It's doing it. Ah, oh, thank God for that. I have some faith. I mean, I know it said last time in Windows 8 that it worked, but I have faith in that it's worked this time rather than last time. Uh, if you, one thing to know there is, uh, if you notice, it says it's told us what compost it's used, whereas obviously in Windows 8 it was hidden from any useful usable information like that was totally hidden. So the outgoing port is COM8 and the incoming port is COM9. I'm pretty sure outgoing means, it means the PC starts the connection. So I think that's the one we're gonna to wanna to use because the PC will be starting the connection with the other units. And it, obviously if that was to start a connection with the PC, which it won't be doing, we would use COM9. So that's a bit of an explanation there. Now one thing I do know is that software we was using before only goes up to COM5, so we need to change. Well, I'm gonna change it to COM3, which is the default in that software. So to do that, uh, let's see, we go to start my computer, properties, uh, hardware, device manager, we find the COM port. Right, it was COM, port, COM8, wasn't it, that we was using to initiate, initiate it, so, um, Properties, port settings. Right, if it sounds a bit distracted there, it's because the camera just happened to run out of space at the time. So uh, let's get back to this then. 
Um, so once we go to port settings, we click on advanced and you can change your COM port here. I know it's going to tell me it's in use, but I know I've got not connected to COM port 3. So I'm just going to accept this. So COM 3. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. We want to continue. Okay. Get rid of that. Takes a few seconds. Get rid of everything now. We're back to COM 8 now. COM 3 now. Go, go, go. Right now, when we use this easy ODB2, hopefully, oh, hang on, I accept. What to use? PC port failure, check port. Okay, COM3. System resetting. COM3, okay, checking hard, checking interface hardware. Ah, thank God, it's working. Look at that. Right, now I've just got to figure out how to use it. Give me two secs. Right there we go, as we can see it's managed to connect. Um, the only option we've got there is go online with vehicles, so I'm going to click that. Hopefully that's it. Looks like it is. It's doing something. Check on vehicle DB. Yeah, yeah, I can see that's got the lamp on. Um, and we've got number of stored faults, one. So that's exactly what, what I bought it for. Um, now we just need to reveal how, well, how to get that fault, show faults, there we go, pretty easy. Ah, uh, do you know, I knew it'd be that. I knew it'd be the oxygen sensor, and the reason I say that is because the the mountain on the um, the lander sensor's broken on the exhaust, and it was sort of dangling down the back of the engine. When I had a look, um, probably the, the wiring's probably damaged. Uh, it's probably something to do with the wiring. Maybe, maybe just the oxygen sensor itself, but I suspect there'd be something to do with that anyway because there was some like physical damage there. So anyway, at least we found the fault now and actually that thing worked pretty well once I got it on an XP machine. Um, you saw it pretty much live, how long it took to set up. So all in all, I'd say just for reading those fault codes, that's worked quite nicely, but not with Windows 8. I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it will work with Windows 8, but uh, it's just... What a, what a horrible piece of software to use and going back to good old Windows XP that worked really nicely and I've got me full code which is just what I wanted so I'd say all, all in all for £6 that is a brilliant piece of hardware and I'm sure it can do a lot more and I know that it comes with software that you can run on your phone for all different things but I think if you just want to find out your, your full codes anyway brilliant piece of soft, brilliant piece of hardware get it